Hey, Jens, how are you, man? <laughs> good. Good to meet good. you. Hey. <laughs> Yeah. This, yeah. this my brother? Too, Uli, Hi, man. pleasure man. Hey man, good to meet you. Previously on Delos, we met up with Tani and Ben from our crew competition and had an amazing experience swimming with whale sharks. So it's a pretty big day today because Jens and his brother are flying in from Germany. So we've just jumped in. The taxi was surged, he's taking us to the airport. We're gonna go get our mates. A few months back, we ran a little video competition. If you want to sail on Delos, just let us know why you'd be the best Delos pirate in 60 seconds or less. We set aside a special winning spot for one of our Patreon supporters, and Jens was the winner. I'm not a pirate and a salty seaman by any means. I'm just a 36 years old, random German dude from Berlin city who got absolutely blown away from what you were doing. And I'm a fan of Delos like three years ago or something. So by inviting me to your crew, it would be like a dream come true. Absolutely amazing. So in return, you will get the whole story why and how you changed my future. But to know more about that, you have to choose me for your crew slot. But really guys, it's too cold for this shit. I'm out. I wish you a blast on your next season. Stay safe. Cheers. <laughs> it's ringing. Is that <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hey, guys. So, so we had uh, one more question for you, if that's okay. So, uh, do you want to come sailing with us? <laughs> Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, I, I want, of course. <laughs> cool. I really want. Why, why, why are you picking me? Tell me. Cause you're a cool German dude. Cause you're a 36 year old random German guy <laughs> from Berlin. From Berlin. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And that's 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 what we're about, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye. bye. Have a good night. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Good night. night. No. It's the biggest smile I've ever seen in my life. Whoa. It's gonna be great. <laughs> it's gonna be cool, man. I don't think either of them have left Germany before, so <laughs> they're landing in Madagascar. First stop. <laughs> it's quite a good spot oh, for your yeah. first. <laughs> yeah. It'll be cool. I think it's gonna be fun. Yeah, it's gonna be a blast. Yeah, yeah. It'll be good. Welcome to the Nosy Bay Airport. <laughs> the Germans are here. Hey, Jens, how are you, man? <laughs> good. Good to meet good. you. Hey. <laughs> Yeah. This, yeah. this is my brother? Too, Uli, oh, yeah. pleasure yeah. man. Hey man, good to meet you. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, it's alright, it's alright. How was the trip? Yeah. yeah, the trip was good. Yeah, yeah it was good. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you made, made yeah. it taller. Me? Yeah. 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 yeah, I usually wear high heels, so that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome, man. Hello! Uh, we found some random Germans. Random Germans! <laughs> Hello! Good, how are you guys? Oh, we are great. Oh, wait. Oh. Hey, nice to meet you, man. You're so awesome. <laughs> random, huh? Yeah, totally. Really random. Hi. So this is my brother. My little brother. <laughs> Hello. Nice to meet you. Cool. Well, welcome on board. Thanks very much. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, that's awesome. That's I'll show awesome. you guys around. When new crew joins Delos, we give them a mini tour. Stuff like, this is your bunk, this is how to work the head, the rest you gotta learn as you go. It's, it's electric, yeah. and 
uh, it's from salt water, so we don't have to worry about wasting the water. Okay. But it's really important to, when you use the toilet, to hold the red button down for a long time afterwards. So the same as on our board. Yeah. Don't put any tampons in there or I don't know no. what you guys use. We <laughs> usually do whatever breakfast mm -hmm. people feel like. So everybody, we have, I can show you, we have like misli and bread and mm -hmm. whatever, you, whatever you want. Okay, so it's like Christmas time. We've got gifts. We never get gifts. So nice. We have some. Um, what is it like? Peppermint schnapps. Yeah, peppermint yeah. schnapps from Berlin, and it's ice cold. It's like glacier water. It never gets warm. Fresh outside the airplane. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have a little welcome to Delos toast. Can I get a the tiny one, ready? Like that. Yeah. What? <laughs> Brian and I have oh, bubbles. Oh. Big, big, big boys. Ooh. Cheers! Ooh, cheers! How do you say cheers, cheers. in German? Uh, yeah, cheers. Prost! 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 Since the guys were fresh off the plane, and it was their first time out of Europe, we decided to take them to a few of our favorite hangouts and show them a slice of Madagascar nightlife. So it's almost time to leave our beloved Madagascar. We had a bit of a party night. <laughs> we introduced Jens and Uli to Madagascar and uh, they got back at sunrise so I think it was a successful mission. What do you say guys? It's good. And uh, I think we're gonna actually set sail tomorrow, start our trip to uh, South Africa. So we're heading into the market, gonna get some veggies, some cheese, a little bit of meat. We didn't really manage to get a taxi, so we always managed to walk during the hottest part of the day too, for some reason. <laughs> and yep, it's almost 12 o'clock and it is stinking hot. I've got rum coming out of my pores. Yep, and Brady's hungover. <laughs> I'm not hungover, I think I'm still a little bit drunk. <laughs> it was our last night here. We had a good party, a good yeah. welcome for, <laughs> for Jens and his brother. It's a good time, but good. now we're going to do some provisioning and then we're off for some diving. So. So we've been here a little while and we've been trying to practice our shitty French and see how we do. We did pretty good. We did pretty good, huh? Got everything we set out to, huh? I think so. We didn't get any lettuce, but that's we didn't okay. really have any. Yeah, don't need lettuce. So Brian has organized this guy, this local artist here, 
to do some drawings for us, some Dallas drawings. So it's really exciting. I haven't seen it yet. Or I'll show you what's going on. Look at this. Hold on. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. So these guys do like custom paintings, and they're sweet. And That's so awesome. This one is good to go, but we're waiting on the second one, and we're trying to figure out that. <laughs> Can you finish today? I uh, wait today. Today, today? Uh, after um, nice. three years. Ah uh, no, three uh, three hours. Wait. Three hours. Okay, so if I uh, wait. Merci beaucoup. How did we do? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty yeah. good. Yeah. All finish? Yes. Oh, cool. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes. This. Here. Oh, nice. Nice. It's very nice. Oh, it's beautiful. It's my favorite one. So I think we managed to get everything we wanted to get, and it's just a two-week passage, so it shouldn't be too much stuff. But you guys got some good meats, Brady? Yeah. Oh, we loaded up on meat. We've got mince and I think I got three fillets. Oh nice. Lots of chicken, sausage, bacon. Mmm. It's so good. The road is a bit bumpy, so <laughs> Dallas was all stocked up and ready to head to South Africa. But before setting sail, we had one more diving mission to accomplish. A night dive at the awesome Mitsuo wreck. Hey, so it's diving time and we just anchored kind of close to the wreck where we think it is and now we're gonna go down on a kind of reconnaissance mission and try to find it and then we're gonna put a buoy to it and then when we've done that it's easy to find it in the night and then we're gonna do a night dive so it's really exciting and i really hope we find it <laughs> but we should we have coordinates so we'll see how it goes We dove the Mitsuo rack about a week back and found it to be pretty sweet. It's a well-preserved fishing trawler lying on the bottom at about 25 meters of water. The local dive operators really don't know a lot about this wreck, and no one we spoke with had done a night dive there. The abundance of life was insane during the day. At night, we had no idea what to expect. Our plan was to find the wreck and set a buoy so that when it got dark and spooky, we wouldn't have any problems finding her in the depths. So we, we're just out here diving the Mitsuo wreck. It's only like two miles from Crater Bay. And we found it on our first shot and we tied a little float to it because our plan for tonight is we're gonna do a night dive, which is totally exciting because it's so different diving at night and it, everything just comes out and it's amazing. So like there's our little float ski out there. Brady and Pascal are down diving right now. Hello, good morning. We met Pascal in La Marina, 
he was on a mission to travel around the world without flying. Here in Madagascar, he was working as a dive master at a local shop, so we decided to bring him along for the night dive. And then we're gonna fill the tanks, and we're gonna go as soon as the sun goes down. And it looks like it's gonna be a wicked sunset. Look at that, beautiful. Tonight is a very special night. We're doing a night dive and uh, the tanks are full and it's dark so we're gonna go find our marker again hopefully and go down on the wreck. Go down on the south. We're gonna go down and we're gonna find this. What are we gonna do Pascal? Now we search the our dive master. We light, we point our light on the sausage, we swim towards the sausage and then we get down on the sausage. I think one time you said lick the sausage. No, but this makes no sense. <laughs> the other things make perfect <laughs> sense, but that doesn't make sense. <laughs> oh yeah, let's do it. Let's have backup lights. Backup lights. Wow. Yeah, but we had like a lot of lights. I think if you did everything Patty said, you would not be Heading down into the depths can feel eerie, but you just have to trust your training and keep your cool. Diving at night is a completely different experience. Soft coral starts to bloom, smaller fish come out of hiding to feed, and all sorts of different types of critters are about. You can only see a small area just in front of you, so your attention becomes much more focused. You get utterly lost in just that small cone of light. You end up actually moving less and seeing much, much more. Cool, man. Was good? Yeah. Great. Saw a big ray when we first went down. Oh, I saw man. a really big crab. I don't know what kind of crab that was. <laughs> that was crazy, man. That was so beautiful. That is a beautiful Those small krill. krill were pretty intense, though. <laughs> Your light would get completely blocked out just from the amount of shrimp around it, like you just. <laughs> So we saw similar things like that on the Coolidge, man. The, there they're like a fish that create the light, but here it's the, the krill. And you turn your lights off and it feels like you're floating in the stars. So crazy. Hard to keep your position. Yeah. Especially with the, there was a bit of current down there. Yeah. No, I didn't want to bump into a lionfish. This. <laughs> or a stonefish. So cool. Nice one, bro. Thank you, Madagascar. Thank you, yeah. Thank you, Madagascar. <laughs> Thank you, Milos. You're welcome, bro. Thanks for coming. That's hot. What huh? are you doing? Picking up the anchor for the last time from Crater Bay. We're leaving our beloved Nosy Bay. We said goodbye to Flo yesterday. It was really sad. We cried, I think, all of us a little bit. It's always but, so hard leaving friends. Yeah, it sucks, but at the same time, it's I'm excited too for all the new things we're gonna be doing, <laughs> which is fun. But it's always bittersweet. And just like that, our time in Nosy Bay was finished. We'd spent about six months around this spectacular island, meeting amazing people, exploring and stuffing ourselves silly with all the delicious food. But the season was drawing to a close, and it was time for Delos and her new crew to head south, back towards the continent of Africa. Up next, we take Jens and Uli on their first tropical dive, begin our sail towards South Africa, 
and explore the amazing Maramba Bay. This is scary shit. What have you found, Jan? Yeah? We found a skull, I guess. Maybe it looks human, but I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, sweet. First thing in the morning. <laughs> That's a wrap. <laughs> Like it? I like it a lot. Is that a yes? Oh man. I can't I can't I can't I can't I can't believe this man. <laughs>